Murat Aslan is a security analyst and faculty member at Hassan Kalyonj University. And he joins me now live from Ankara. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So after the talks of the delegation, they have agreed on the rapid implementation of initial measures to address Turkey's security concerns. Secondly, it is to set up a possible joint operations centre in Turkey to coordinate and that the safe zone shall become a peace corridor. What do you make of it? Well, it's a first step uh, to establish a long-term partnership in Syria, I see, because uh, the concern of Turkey is actually the presence of terror cells very close to the you know, border of Turkey. Uh, and what I see is that Turkey just stepped up uh, a plan that will have you know, PKK out of the agenda in future, because the USA which has leaned on PKK support in Syria, is now in a position to balance both actors in the eyes of the US politicians. But later then, what I believe is that PKK will be marginalized because in Syrian democratic forces, there are many Arab tribesmen. And uh, we know that they are expecting Turkish inclusion to the northeast of uh, Euphrates River. So it will be a kind of, you know, undertaking to have Syrian democratic forces to transform from a Kurdish dominated organization to Arab dominated organization in future. So Murad, from what you're saying, I'm gathering that this is absolutely necessary with Turkey's national security concerns. But on the other hand, when we look at the past so far between the US-Turkey relations, they haven't always seen eye to eye on many issues. So it's good. It's all good on paper. What will they be able to put their differences aside? They have to, because uh, imagine that the United States is experiencing many different agendas in the Middle East. And we know that Trump is in a position in the United States that he doesn't want any problem in the Middle East that will help the United States be involved in for, uh, by a long-term engagement. So Turkey is the best option for the United States to have the United States be stable in the area. And imagine that PKK as a terrorist organization, although PKK was labeled by a different name, will be a kind of, you know, uh, burden for the United States in future. Because the United States is in a position to sponsoring or commanding a terror cell in future. So it's the best way to cooperate with Turkey in region and actually uh, just take the people of their region. Almost 400,000 Kurds are in Turkey. And now they will go back to Syria. And if the United States does not include the local public's sound in the picture, that means he will have some problems in the future. Okay, so for safety reasons, you think for both sides this will be a good idea. But looking at the major players on the ground, how will this safe zone be viewed by Iran and Russia? Well, Iran is a bit, you know, uh, silent nowadays because of the, you know, problems with the United States. And we know that if Turkey uh, aligns the policy of Turkey in Syria with the United States, it will a bit disturb Iran, that's clear. But for Russia, I think uh, it's a big step maybe for the future of Syria, because Turkey will be the only country that can breach the United States and Russia uh, about Syria. And there's an ongoing political process, and we know that Russia and the United States are clearly diverted. Uh, they do not sit together to discuss any topic in Syria. So this cooperation with the United States may offer a kind of, you know, a chance uh, by means of Turkey. Well, we have to wrap it up here, but thank you very much for that insight, Murat Aslan.